The next step is to install the belly weight. And this is the weight I use. I get it from njtackle.com. And they already have a hole so the wire will fit through it. It sits in a weight bait like this. So it's perfect for wire through construction baits. And the way I get the same amount of weight in every bait is I have holes pre-drilled out. <coughs> so for the tail weight, I will just slide this in here. Mark it and then go cut it. That way I have pretty much the same amount of weight in every bait. Here's one already cut. See, it's pretty flush. Anyways, I do that with the with the tail and with the belly. And I'm just gonna fill this with some epoxy. And I use this epoxy right here. I get this at um, Harbor Freight as well. It's really cheap and it seems to work pretty good. So this stuff dries really fast. So you have to be pretty quick with it. I usually do about three baits at a time. Um, and then I'll make another, you know, mixture of this for the next three baits. But. I'm only doing one bait right now, so. It's equal amounts. Just mix it up. Like I said, this stuff hardens really fast, so once you have it mixed up, just put it in the bait right away. That's pretty good. Just set it in here so it doesn't roll around. And we're good. Okay, now that the epoxy dried. I'm going to, I put the bait back on the lathe and it's at full speed on high speed so it's ready for sanding. And for now I'm mainly going to target just this area with the epoxy just to get that off.
And now just to clean out the eyes. Now to install the tow weight. While I was sanding down the epoxy right here on the lathe, it looks like I took a little bit too much off. It's no big deal, but you can see the difference in the shape. <coughs> I think next time I'm gonna use a Dremel tool and I have a little bit with sandpaper on it and just try it this way but with the lathe it's pretty easy and it usually comes out pretty good no big deal but also I need to take out some more wood from the tail area because this won't fit usually I sit here and grind it out a little bit but I got the drill and you barely want to take any out. Yep, that was way too much. So you just want to shove that in there. And I usually get a hammer, kind of. There you go. And then usually I'll just touch up the sanding on the tail after I have the weight in. Test it out. And there it is. Now if I have any imperfection in the wood, chips or anything like that, or if these gaps get too big where the weight goes, I will use I use this wood filler and this wood filler works pretty good just to like touch up any gaps let it, it dries real fast you can sand it off and it looks natural so just to keep it real smooth but this bait's pretty good and it's ready for primer I like to use white primer. It just helps too, like with the base before you actually start painting. 